Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday. I am at home today. I am just going to straighten up, do the dishes from last night. It's not that much. And I have a few errands to run. I'm gonna do that. And then, yeah, that's about it. I dropped Savannah off to school. Today was late Wednesday, so I dropped her off. And yeah, let me get to cleaning, which is not a whole lot to do. The house is pretty much clean. I just have to vacuum my rug here in the living room. I have hardwood floors, you guys, so um, I only have a rug in here, and then I have carpeting in the bedrooms. So I'm gonna vacuum this rug and then do the dishes from last night, like I said. Oh, and also you guys, so remember I told you guys every year at Winco I get those, the pine cone that smells like cinnamon. Well, this is my third one. Ooh, guys can barely see me. Okay, so this is my third one that I got, and probably the last one because their supply is like dwindling. Hopefully they'll get some more, but the whole house smells really good right now. So yeah, I have my, probably the last one for the year. And know what I noticed? Savannah actually noticed this. I didn't know before, is when it gets old, you see how it's like really, really red? The one that we threw out last night um, it didn't smell anymore, but it was pink. And the whole bag kind of like changes color. And I wish I had it so I could show you guys, but I don't. But yeah, so now we know when it starts changing color, that means the scent is going away. So I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this before. This is my candle warmer. So I got this vanilla wax cubes from Walmart. They're like two bucks. It smells so good. It smells like birthday cake. Plug this in because this is old right here. So I just need it to melt a little bit so I can um, clean it up and take the wax out and put the new scent in. Okay, so I scraped out the other candle because that one did not smell anymore. And I put two cubes of the new one in and it's gonna start melting and it already is starting to smell really good, even just taking it out of the container. Now it's mostly melted, it smells really good. The only thing that's different, is it's all clear and the other ones I've used were more colorful. So I was gonna put one more in there, but I'm not, cause usually I only put two and that's what I put in. So we'll leave it at that, it's still smelling good. So it's still early, I have not eaten breakfast yet, but I did make my coffee. So just drinking that and straighten everything up, put the pillows back on the couch because I think I told you guys before when the kids come or when I have people over, I'll move the pillows over that way. They're not sitting on the pillows and everything. But I'm looking at my Christmas tree and I usually keep my Christmas tree pretty basic but I'm looking at it now and like it needs something. Let me show you guys. It may not focus too well because of the lights, but I think it needs something, you guys. Hold on. Getting closer, this will help. That way you guys will see how I have it. Um, I think I did show you guys this before. Savannah made me this when she was in, actually they all made me one at daycare. Ooh, I am getting Alzheimer's or something. This is Cheyenne, not Savannah. That's Cheyenne when she was younger. And this right here, <laughs> that's Savannah. She never smiled for anyone. And then this over here is Tyreek. So yeah, I keep my tree pretty basic. And I do that, you guys, because growing up, and this is not a dig at my mom, but growing up, the tree that my mom put up, she had so much stuff on it and she had garlands, she had tinsel, she had the lights, which I personally don't like the color lights, so that's why I don't get the color lights, and that's just a personal um, preference. But all this kind of beads and bows and all this kind of stuff that she had on it, and to me, it was just so much that I just don't like it that way. That's why when I got older and moved out and got my own tree, I always kept it pretty basic, but now I want to put at least a little bit more on it to make it more festive or colorful or I don't know, something like that. So I think I may go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can get like a ribbon. I do have beads, but I don't want to put that on there. And I had some bows, but they were pretty old. 
Um, I've had them a long time, so I actually recycled those. Um, and by recycle, I mean I threw them away because they just, they were not cute anymore. So yeah, I may go to Hobby Lobby to see if I can find a ribbon or something like that or something just to, I don't know, liven it up and make it not look, look so plain. I don't want it as full as, you know, what my mom had. And if you load your trees up, not trying to offend you or anything like that, I just don't like a lot of things on my tree. When we went to Melissa's house for Thanksgiving, her tree had the perfect amount of, um, I was going to say instruments. Um ornaments on there so I think that's just fine and I even like how she had the ribbon on there so I may go get a ribbon or something like that but yeah I don't like too much that's why I just keep it basic you guys what about you how do you decorate your tree do you overload it or do you have it almost empty like mine so not much has changed with Cheyenne's puzzle this is all that she's done since the last time I showed it to you guys but she has been working and she's been tired after work. So I told her before she even continues, she needs to buy a poster board that way, cause this is just my actual table. She needs to buy a poster board that way after she's done, she can just, you know, glue it on the board and hang it up. So I actually might pick her up one today when I go out to Hobby Lobby. We'll see, I don't know. <laughs> So I'm having cream of wheat for breakfast. I always want to call it malto meal, but it's not, even though I eat malto meal also. And I like to put a little bit of milk in mine. Do you guys eat cream of wheat and do you like milk in it? Oh, and I'm using my Ray Dunn Let's Eat bowl. So it is much later, but I just wanted to show you guys my dinner. Not very attractive or aesthetically pleasing, but it is steak with A1 sauce on the top and then I have a baked potato and in it I have cheese and shrimp and I fried bacon and um, there's a mix of cream cheese and ranch and so that is my dinner for tonight and I always cut my steak up ahead of time that way when I eat I can just eat my food so yeah that is dinner for tonight hello everyone it is Friday I am home from work left a little bit earlier because I am not feeling very well um I feel myself coming down with something but I don't want to say I'm sick because then you'll get sick if you know what I mean so I took some mucinex because I'm I feel like congestion and stuff like that so I took that and hopefully I'll start to feel better. I'm actually going to lay down. I'm gonna make me some coffee first because I did not have my coffee this morning. I'm starting to get a coffee headache. It comes on that quick for me, you guys. Um, that, and look what I found. So I didn't eat breakfast either. So all these things are probably adding to me not feeling very well and my head hurting. But when we went to Winco the other day, I decided to try these pumpkin cream cheese coffee cakes. I will show you guys. So this is it right here and it comes four in a row and see we've already each one of us already had one these are really good so I think I'm just gonna have a couple of these with my coffee and I'm actually gonna lay down and watch TV but it'll end up watching me because I really need to take a nap Baba study is here tonight so I need to feel better for that um, if it was somewhere else I'd probably wouldn't go stay home and feel better but since it's here I don't know so let me make my coffee and then hopefully I'll start to feel better after I've eaten something and I probably shouldn't have this. I probably should make me an egg or something. I don't know you guys. I just want to eat something because I'm hungry and go take a nap. So that's what I'm going to do. And really quick, I just wanted to show you guys the coffee that I'm having this morning. Vanilla macadamia nut. I get this from Winco and it doesn't come in the regular K-Cup pods. It looks like this. And it smells so good. It tastes really good also. I don't put it in my little Keurig um, K-cup holder. I just keep it in here and keep it sealed so it won't lose its freshness. But have you guys ever tried this? And if you have, tell me what do you think? I think it tastes really good. Hello, it is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I am home, um, apparently. <laughs> Went to church today and, oh, so the clip that you've seen before, I wanted to let you guys know I'm feeling a whole lot better. I 
took vitamin C, drank tea with honey in it and rested and so now I feel better. I don't feel like that feeling of sickness coming on. Feeling a whole lot better. Glad it didn't turn on, turn into a full blown sickness. So yeah, just sitting here watching Friends on Netflix. I'm still in the first season. I decided to watch it. Even though I watched it when it came on TV, I didn't watch every single episode. And so I'm doing that now and it's 10 seasons. So I finished Golden Girls. So I was looking for another show to watch even though I'm in the middle of like three shows I'm kind of like burnt out with it I was like so into oh my gosh I can't think of it um the the show with the doctors um oh my gosh oh my gosh her name is Meredith why can't I think of that show's name Grey's Anatomy so I was so into Grey's Anatomy and then I stopped watching that. I think I am on maybe season eight, nine, or ten. I don't know. And I was watching Glee. There's only six episodes, of, six seasons of Glee, and I'm on the fifth season. To me, once they went to New York, once they graduated, it got boring. So I, that's why I stopped watching. But I do still want to finish it because I never actually finished a series. And what else was I in the middle of? I don't know. Um, I don't know. In the middle of these shows, some shows when I watch it, I'll love it so much that I'll have to finish the whole series like with Wentworth prison series that's like from Australia or something like that I finished the whole thing so stuff like that I'll go through and I'll finish so now I'm just watching friends I still have to finish the office I'm just rambling I know but just catching guys up on the shell bill life and yeah if you guys are wondering what that ring is I have my candle on right there so that's just the glow of the light from my candle and what else just me and the girls here Tyreek is skateboarding somewhere I don't know and when I say that he is he drove his car to a skate park or indoor skate park something like that so that's what he is doing he is off today so yeah know what I did today you guys so I decided that I was going to make red beans and rice in my slow cooker and what I did was the ham that we had for Thanksgiving well when everyone got tired of eating it I took and I froze it because I, I didn't know when I was gonna make you know red beans and rice so I took it out yesterday bought the beans or whatever and so I prepared it this morning to make red beans and rice in my slow cooker and the plan was right before I leave out the door turn it on that way it can be cooking while I'm at church and come home and almost be done or close to being done right that didn't happen I walked in and I didn't smell anything I'm like what's going on I actually thought my slow cooker was broken and I go check on it and it was just sitting there in the water I didn't even turn it on you guys so that was about 3 30 and it's on now of course but dinner's not gonna be ready until 9 or 10 o'clock tonight and I'm not gonna wait that long to eat I'm just gonna eat something else for dinner tonight at least it'll be done for tomorrow so yeah just sitting here and I'm in my Disneyland Pirates of the Caribbean hoodie I got this in 2013 I think something like that it's really super cute um, I'm in a hoodie because I it's kind of cold and I don't want to turn my heater all the way up until we go to sleep also I'm one of the weird people that always has a fan on my ceiling fan is on I always have my fan on even in the winter time maybe it's the white noise maybe it's I don't know soothing or whatever I don't know but I always have my fan on oh you scared me oh my gosh <laughs> okay so I am just checking on the beans what Oh, you forgot about it. So how do I take it out? Just get a knife. She has a candle and she stuck it in the freezer to, well, she has a glass and she wants to keep. So she stuck the candle in the freezer. Wait, give it to me. She wants to keep this container because it has a scripture on it. And I told her to put it in the freezer and she forgot about it. It's starting to smell really good, finally. All right, so this is the red beans. And the reason why the ham looks like that is because it was from Thanksgiving. Okay, so I bought <laughs> these Oreo flavored candy canes from Walmart. This is the most disgusting thing I ever tasted. It tastes like black licorice, not Oreos. But the reason why they're almost gone is because Tariq likes them. 
Tariq likes black licorice. He's the only one in the house who likes black licorice. So that's the reason why it's almost gone, like I said. But it is the most disgusting thing ever. Have you guys seen this kind? And if so, do you like it? And if you do like it, I guess you like black licorice because to me, that's what it tastes like. It's really disgusting. Okay, you guys, so the food is done. It is actually almost midnight. Not about to eat right now, but I just wanted to show you guys it before I turn it off. And I tasted it. It tastes really good. And, of course, the ham is falling off the bone. It tastes really good. And my rice cooker died you guys I have the old school one and it completely died so now I gotta get another one so I made my rice in the microwave um, I don't even know why I was making it tonight everyone's asleep and no one's gonna eat right now but I'm making it in the microwave I know pretty ghetto but the last time I cooked rice on the stove, which was years ago, I burnt it. I don't know how to cook rice on the stove. So I did it in the microwave and it actually turned out pretty good. But now I got to get a rice cooker and I'm going to get a better one. Not this like dinosaur looking thing. So yeah, that's my next purchase.